if you're new to yoga, I just wanted to go over a few things, or even if you've done yoga before, just a few things just to know before we get started. Um, a reminder before we get started that our bodies are all different. So what may be good for one person may not be always okay for you. So do what feels comfortable for your body. We're not all symmetrical. So one side of your body may be a little bit more flexible than the other. So don't be surprised by that. Also, as we go through the moves, try to move with your breath. Move with your breath. And remember, there's no pain in yoga. And there's no competition with myself or anyone else. The goal is um, we aim for progress, not perfection. It's always okay to bend your knees or your elbows. In the event that I'm doing a particular posture that my knees are straight, it's always okay to bend your knees and your elbows. If a particular posture is, um, is painful, I would recommend just getting out of the posture, getting back into your mountain pose, and rejoin you rejoin the practice when you're ready. So we begin our practice usually with getting centered. And today I would love to introduce you. We'll, do, we'll begin with our easy breath. And then I'll introduce you to alternate nostril breathing. Sometimes you may need some Kleenex after the nostril, alternate nostril breathing because it does clear the nasal passages. So without further ado, come into a nice, seated, comfortable position. Feet is firmly on the ground. Let me adjust my camera just a moment. Feet is firmly planted on the ground. If you're able, just move back from the, the chair, just so there's a space between your back and the, the backrest of your chair. Knees over your ankle, belly button tucked in, shoulders down and back, but soft, and head in line with your spine. And just go ahead and close your eyes for a moment. And just set, get centered by taking some nice, easy breath. Breathing through the nose and out through the nose. Just breathing in and out at your own pace. Just paying attention to how you're feeling. Maybe your feet pressing a bit against the floor. Maybe your hands in your lap or your sits bone against the chair. Rhythmic inhalation and exhalation is directly related to our breath. If we're not taking deep rhythmic uh, insulation and exhalation, we tend to be in a, a state of excitement or anxiety. So just try to breathe nice and deep, helps to decrease anxiety. It has, helps to relieve stress. And especially at this time of COVID-19 and sheltering in a place, we're all going through a period of, of anxiety and stress. So just go ahead and breathe in and out, in and out at your own pace. And I'll be quiet for a few minutes while you breathe in and out. Now you may open your eyes, and I'd love to introduce you to alternate nostril breathing. So go ahead and take, keep your left hand on your, on your thigh, and bring your right hand in front of your mouth. Form a C with the, the thumb and your index finger. 
I'll show you the first one. So I'll go ahead and close my right nostril. Take a couple breaths on your own and close the right nostril. Inhale through the left, close the left, pause at the top and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, close the right, pause at the top and exhale through the left. I'll have you do some on your own now. Inhale through the left, pause, close, exhale through the right. And when you're ready, you may release your hand back to your thigh. Take a couple more of your regular breath on your own. And when you're ready, you may open your eyes. And we'll begin because our necks and our shoulders carry so much tension. We'll begin with our necks and our shoulders. So we'll begin by extending our arms to the side. Palms are facing up. Inhale as you bring your arms up overhead. Bring your palms together and look up. Exhale as you bring your palms down. Inhale up. And look up. Exhale down. We'll do that one more time. Inhale up and look up. Exhale down. We'll inhale one more time and interlace the fingers. Bring it behind back of your head. And we'll just bring our shoulder blade, bring our elbows together while we bring our chin to our chest. So open up the chest. Exhale as you come down to chin to chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. We'll do one more. Inhale, down. And exhale, open. And release your arms down to the side and shake them out. You may bring your hands back to your thighs. And then we'll, we'll bring our right ear to our right shoulder. Bring our right ear to our right shoulder. Then turn the head to look down at your, your elbow, your inner elbow. Bring your head back up to the center and we'll repeat on the other side. So inhale up, exhale to the left, looking down. Notice where you feel in that stretch. Inhaling up, exhaling over to the right. This is our last set. Inhaling up, one more time on the left. Exhale to the left, looking down and return your head to the center. Take a deep breath here, exhale and inhale. Now let's do our sh shoulder shrugs. So we're gonna tighten everything up and bring our shoulders in. Inhale as you tighten up and bring them in. Inhale up. One more, inhale up and exhale down. Now we'll repeat, we'll, we'll repeat, but we'll do, we'll be, going backwards. Inhale up, exhale back and down. Inhale up, exhale back and down. One more, inhale up, exhale back and down. Now let's work on our arms somewhat. So go ahead and extend your arms out to your side. As long as there are no shoulder problems, go ahead, flex your hands so that the Fingers are pointing to the sky and just gently rotate them forward. 
Inhaling and exhaling at your own pace. Now we'll stop in the center and we'll repeat going the opposite direction. Notice where you feel in that stretch. One more and release your arms down and shake them out. Take a deep breath here and we'll do a cat cow. But this, this is just to open up the spine, not very deep. So you will inhale, open up your, lift your gaze, open up your chest, and stick your tailbone out, and inhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, one more. Inhale up, and exhale down and inhale back up to center. Make sure your gait, you're nice and tall, shoulders are back and down. We'll do a, a side bend, but this time we'll lift our arms up. Exhale as you twist to the, you lean to the left. Inhale up and exhale to the other side. Inhale up, releasing the hand down and leaning over to the left. One more time, inhale up and exhale in over. Inhale up and shake the arms out. Now we'll do a spinal twist. So bring your arms to pray. Um, so let's inhale up and twist to the right. Inhale up back to center. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale up and exhale to center to the left and inhale to center and release your arms down. Take a nice deep breath here. So let's work on our core and then we'll work on our hips. So we'll just do a few um, pelvic tilts. Tilt your pelvic in. So scoop your tailbone in and release it. It's not quite a spot, it's not a cat cow, it's more like a, just the pelvic area. Inhale. Inhale up. And exhale down. And back to center. And now we'll work on our hips. So open your legs just a little wider than your, wider than your mat. Turn your feet out about 45 degrees. 45 degrees, and then we'll windshield wiper or, or knees. So down, 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 down. Breathing in and out at your own pace. Back up to center and take a breath here. Now let's turn to the, I'm gonna to turn to the right side of my chair. So if you wanna go ahead and turn to the right side of your chair or turn to the side of your chair, it doesn't matter what side. We'll be doing a spinal twist here. So the left hip should be off, slightly off the chair. So go ahead and lengthen up and turn and hold on to the backrest of your chair and look straight behind you. Back up to, to the center. We'll do that one more time. Inhale up, exhale around. Inhale back up to center. And the next thing we'll do, we'll keep our right leg on the chair with our knees over our ankle. And you'll bring your left, drop your left knee down so that the knees point in. Point into the floor. Extend the feet out so the toes are flat. Lengthen up through the spine. And do another spinal twist. So inhale up, exhale around. Inhale back to center. Inhale up, exhale around. Back up to center. Take a deep breath here, stay in this position. 
And we'll do a side bend. Extend your arm out, left arm out, with the palms facing up. And lean over to the right. Inhale up. Release your arm down. And we'll do one more time. Inhaling up. Exhaling over. Inhaling back up. And take a breath. And we'll repeat it on the other side. So just swivel around to the other side. So your left hip should be slightly off the chair. Your right hip should be slightly off the chair. The left knee is over the left ankle. And we're just gonna lengthen up and twist looking behind you. Inhale back to center. Inhaling up and exhaling, looking behind. Inhaling back to center. And now you'll keep your left leg where it is and drop the, bring your right leg behind with the toes flat on the floor. And then we'll do a couple more spinal twists. So holding on to the right side of your chair and the left side of the chair, lengthen up and turn to look behind you, behind the back of the chair. Inhale back to center. One more time, inhaling up, exhaling around. Inhaling back to center, and now we'll do our, spy, our um, side bend. So hold on to the seat of your chair, extend your right arm, extend your arm up and over. Inhaling back down one more time. Inhaling up and over. Inhale back to center and swivel around to the front of your chair. And at this time we'll do some groin stretches. So open your legs. so that the feet are about 45 degrees, 45 degrees angle. Lengthen up through the spine. And the first thing we'll do is just lean with a long spine, lean forward. Inhale in. Exhale, pale in. Inhale in and exhale in. Now we'll lean, this time we'll lean forward with a twist. So lean forward and twist to the right. Back to center, lean forward and twist to the left. Inhale back to center, lean forward and twist to the right. Lean forward, lean back and twist to the left. Inhale back to center and take a breath here. Now this is the next, the next pose that we'll do. We'll move on to the beginning of a warrior two. But we're not gonna go into a warrior two today. We're just gonna keep our legs where they are. I'm gonna scooch to the edge of my chair. I'm gonna extend my arm, lean to the left, bend the elbow, place my elbow, my forearm on my thigh, and extend that arm up. You may look to your elbow, or you may choose to look up at your hand. And breathe in and out. Inhale back up to center, Ex extend your arms, palm facing down, and we'll repeat on the other side. So lean to the right, bend the elbow, place your forearm on your thigh, extend your arm up and feel that great stretch in your side body. You may choose to look down or you may choose to look up. Breathe in and out at your own pace. Inhale back up to center and shake that leg out. Now are you, so let's keep our legs where they are. We'll just do some 
heel lifts and toe lifts. So legs are wide, lift the heels, then lift the toes up. Lift the heels and then lift the toes, lift the heels and lift the toes. One more time, lift the heels and lift the toes. Bring your legs back to mountain pose. Scooch to the edge of the chair. And we'll do some, um, we'll do some um, back of the leg stretches. So extend your, both legs actually. Hold on to the chair. Extend both legs in front. I'm gonna adjust my camera so you can see. Extend both legs in the front. Hold on to the chair and lean into the stretch and notice where you feel in that stretch should be in your calf. Inhale back up and bring your feet back in. And let's just warm up before we start into some standing poses. So let's do what we call football feet. Hold on to your chair and just begin to tap. Tap your toes, tap your heels, tap your toes, tap your heels, toes, heels. This is really very energizing. Tap your toes and relax for a center, for a, se for a second in the center. Take a deep breath. And if you're ready, we can go into some standing poses. But let's warm up our, before we do that, let's just warm up our hips a little bit more with the windshield wiper. Take a breath and go ahead and stand. I'm gonna move my chair. You could stand behind your chair if you'd like to, or I'm just gonna to move to the side of my chair so you're able to see what I'm doing. I'm gonna warm up my feet by just bringing them in and out and in and out. And now that they're warm, I'm gonna go ahead and do some press ups, press ups and down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, but this time hold it. Inhale up. And if you're able, go ahead and let go, um, extend one arm up. And if you're able, extend both arms up. Exhale down. And we'll do some balance in poses. So I'm standing by the side of my chair. I'm uh, shifting my weight so it's more in my right leg. I'm gonna move my left leg and put it in front of my left, le my right, left leg in front of my right. So basically my, the heel is touching my big toe. Hold on to your chair if you'd like. If you're able to let go, find something that doesn't move to focus on. Extend one arm up. If you're able to let go of your chair, extend the other arm up. Breathe in and out. If you're not able to do that today, just go ahead and hold on to the chair and try closing your eyes in this pose. <laughs> it seems really simple, but it really is effective. Release your arms down and we'll repeat it on the other side. So I'm shifting my weight now to my left leg. And then I'm gonna bring my right leg in front. Lengthen up through the spine. Inhale as you bring your right arm, right arm up. And if you're ready to let go, choose whichever arm position works for you. You may hold onto your chair. You may do this. You may do, see, I'm already falling over. You may do cactus or you may extend your arms up. Inhale back down. 
shake your legs out. And we'll move on to our downward facing dog. So I'm standing behind the chair. I'm going to stand in my mountain pose behind my chair, holding onto the chair, walking back, walking back, walking back until my legs are straight, engaging my core, leaning over so that my tailbone is going up and my head comes between my, my arms. Breathing in and out, looking down at the floor. Walk back up. We'll do that one more time, but this time we're gonna walk the dog. So walk back. Bring your hips up, head down, and begin to bring the foot in. Bring your leg in and out and in and out and in and out and relax. Walk back up. Okay, so now that we've done our exercises here, let's do one more. Let's do a warrior two standing. So stand behind your chair. Your left leg is point a 90 degree angle. Your right leg is about a 45 degree angle or pointing towards the wall. Bending the left knee and extending the arm. Now turn your head to look over the left arm. This is a warrior two. You may hold on to your chair or you may do this and turn your head to look over. Inhale up and we'll repeat on the other side. So you could either walk around and we'll repeat it on the other side. So pointing the right leg underneath the chair and extending the other leg. So it's pointing directly to the wall. As I extend my arms or hold onto my chair, I bend my right knee so it's over my ankle. And I extend my arms. Turn your head to look over your right arm, or look past your right arm. And this is a warrior two. Inhale up and release your leg down, leg, and bring your legs back in. Shake them out. Take a deep breath. And if you're ready, we can return to our chair. We can re return to our chair for a cool down. So take a couple breaths here. Get into your mountain pose. And we'll start with our feet. We'll start with our feet by just pointing and flexing them up, pointing and flex. And then windshield wiper the feet. Let's do some uh, circles. Circle in one direction or the other, doesn't matter, on one foot. Then we'll move to the other foot. We'll circle here. Okay, take a deep breath, return that to the center. Take a deep breath, now we'll do a few cat cows. We'll just do two bringing your chin to your chest as you exhale, inhale, exhale as you bring it up. Exhale down and inhale up. Take a break, deep breath here. We'll do a number four stretch. Actually, let's do, bring our legs wider than um, the way we had it before. 
And then we're gonna stir the pot. So we're gonna lean into the stretch, bring your elbows to your thigh, release your, your right arm down and just begin to stir. We're releasing our shoulder blades. Stir in one direction. You may stop here and then we'll stir in the other direction. We'll stop here and come back up to center and repeat on the other side. So lean into the stretch, thigh, um, forearm to the thigh, releasing the arm down and just stir. Stop here and then we'll repeat on the other side in the other direction. Inhale and come back to center. We'll do a number four stretch. And that'll be our final pose for today. So the number four stretch, as you know, there are different options. Options are you may extend your leg. This is one option. And you may place your other leg either by the ankle or by the thigh. The second option is bringing your leg all the way up. So I gave you both options. So we'll go ahead and do whichever one feels good for you today. So extending your right leg. Bring your other leg over to the shin and just lean over. Hold on to the chair and lean over. If you'd like to release your arms to the ground, go ahead and do that looking down, releasing the back. Inhale up and we'll do the other side. So extending the leg, holding on to the chair, leaning over, releasing your head and your arms to the, to the ground if you'd like to, or holding on to the chair. Inhale back up to center, bring your legs back back up to mountain pose, take a deep breath here, extend your arm out to the side, bring yourself a give, give yourself a great big hug, right arm on top, lift your arm up and down and up and down, extend your arm out again, bring your arms, give yourself a great big hug, Left arm on top this time, up and down and up and down. Release your arms to your thighs. Take a nice deep breath here. And we'll go into our Savasana if you are ready. It's called, it's called Savasana or final relaxation. So come back to your chair. You can sit all the way back in your chair if you'd like to. Hands on your thighs, palms may face up or down. Head in line with the spine, shoulders are nice and soft. You may close your eyes or just soften your gaze. And begin to breathe in and out. In and out at your own pace. Begin to observe your physical body all of the parts, parts that are soft, the parts that are spacious, the parts that are achy, or the parts that are even uncomfortable. Just begin to observe all of its parts with utmost compassion. When was the last time you thanked your body for this beautiful fuel, fuel, fluid body? for carrying you all these years. This amazing breath that we've been given to just breathe in and out. The ability to breathe in and breathe out, the ability to just relax. So today, let us express gratitude for this body, this body that houses the mind, 
all its thoughts, the body that houses a soul, which is in our true nature, where we can feel, we can love, we can receive love, we can give love. Just breathe in and out, in and out at your own pace. You may relax your feet as they press on the floor. Relax in your calf muscles and your shin. Relax in your knees, your hips, your belly, your spine. Relax in your shoulders and your elbows and relax in all your fingers. Relax in your neck, your jaws, your forehead, and even the crown of your head. Take a couple more breaths on your own. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes. And if you bring your hands to your heart center, the light in me sees and acknowledges the light in you. Thank you, thank you for sharing your practice with me. I truly appreciate it. Namaste. Thank you.